Provenance. Noun. The place where something originally comes from. So welcome back to Provenance, P-R-O-V-E-N-A-N-C-E, -E. got it every time now. So this week we're going to talk about something that is not too old, this is actually a project that is very recent and it's a collaboration with a brand that you might be aware called Adidas. So I've been working with Adidas and Maker Lab, which is a space that they have here in New York, where you can go in and customize some of your Adidas sneakers and t-shirts. And wait, what do Americans call Adidas? How do you say it? Adidas. Okay, Adidas, same thing. Adidas, Adidas. So actually, let me just grab a couple of pens for this. And I'm gonna, I have all the stuff down here. So let me just grab it. These are just a couple of things. I, I've got a little note here with my name on, and I think this is from the team over at the space, kind of welcoming me to the project. So that's a little thank you note. But essentially, the collaboration is with Makerspace, where you can go in and be hands-on. There's a series of, of drawings and icons that I've created, which you can go into the Maker Lab and actually put these on your shoes, on your um, superstars or on your t-shirts or some of the other shoes. I'll just show you a couple of the t-shirts that we've made. So, you know, here we have this this lady with all of these thoughts and journeys and, and information going around in her brain. It says maker here, NYC. We've got the Adidas, we've got the NYC, and the location is actually in a, a big JD sports. So that's all of the logos there. And then if I turn this around, this is one of the emblems that you can put on the t-shirt. So there's lots of different ones and you can choose which one that you would like kind of on your t-shirt. So it's super fun, you know, you can get this different colors, you can customize it, you can choose that little emblem. So we have another one here, same thing. And this one is a series of words. You, York, who, black, new. So these are words that you can cut up and place in any order that you like. New York, who, you, black. So super fun and interactive. And as a part of the showcase, I'm going to be drawing on a series of shoes of superstars. So I have a pair here, so I thought I'll just draw on them here. Why not? So, you know, I can do provenance and, and work all at the same time. I'll see if I can get some pictures of the space and put them in this video so that you get to see what the actual setup and space looks like. So we have a couple of superstars here. Let me go grab some pens. So I grabbed some of my pens and I've got a Stedler Luminicolor M size. So that's what we're gonna to use to draw on these. So when I'm drawing on something like this and it's, you know, it's an interesting canvas because you have the stripes here, so that kind of breaks it up. So it means you can't get a really solid continuous line, but you can enjoy these moments in between. So I'm just going to just start drawing on this. So this is kind of fun because you or we are seeing the origin of the work being created. You know, provenance is about talking about the origin of the work but not necessarily seeing it being created. So, so this is a very special piece in the sense that we know where it came from because we are all on this initial creation of this work itself. It's kind of nice that this is black and white, so it almost feels like these lines can disappear into these sections there. Sometimes when I'm drawing, I just kind of think of jokes to myself that aren't that funny. So if you ever see me drawing and laughing, it's because I'm, I'm thinking about bad jokes. Oh no, it, it was kind of more of a joke that this, I drew, I just drew a bird and it looked like an angry bird. And then I 
just wondered what ever happened to Angry Birds. Do you remember those? And then I thought it was funny that no one really talks about Angry Birds or sees them anymore. That was it. It wasn't really funny, but... Wait, what did happen to Angry Birds? <laughs> We're going to be in New York, so let's put a little N. Y, C there. I love those little airplanes. It's been a long time since I've been on the airplane. And so if, if any of you know me in the sense that, you know, I've been drawing on shoes for a very long time. Um, I think I first started drawing on my shoes when I was a kid. And in the past, I've done collaborations with many different brands. And so it's always fun to be able to customize your own shoes and then kind of wear them out in the world. Sometimes I used to write little notes on my shoes and it would be funny to see people on the subway trying to read what I wrote. I'm kind of running out of space here, but I'll keep drawing until I feel like we've completed all, everything we can do. So some more drawing. We have, you see, little spaces between the laces here. Uh, maybe we'll sneak my name in here as well. Shan, running out of room. I just fitted it on there. So Martin. Okay, so as you can see, that was just like a quick little drawing on this superstar. Now we're all warmed up. I'm warmed up. I can start on this one. So like I said, it's right now it's not about thinking. It's just about allowing that pen to go wherever it wants to. It's also interesting, you know, when I'm drawing on something like this, you know, I'm drawing on this for this project. And now it will go out and live in the world and become a piece of art. So sometimes there's pressure when I'm creating something like this and I know it's for someone else or I know it's for a different company. I might, you know, be concerned about it not being as good as I want it to be or I might be concerned about making mistakes but but in general I'm, I'm just really trying to have fun with it and you know do what I love doing which is, is drawing and, and making lines. I love all these faces that the faces are looking at you, they're looking at me, they're asking questions, they're asking you know why are we here what are we doing? What is it we want to be doing? I like drawing birds because they remind me of freedom and being free and the ability to fly. Engineering star, let's underline that. Jump in between these lines here. It's interesting, my lines meet these lines. Um, I really like numbers, like writing numbers. I, I've always done that. So we'll just call this one number two. Dashes, just because. And what's nice about these pens as well is that they don't really smudge. You know, sometimes um, when you're drawing, the pen doesn't dry straight away and, and you can smudge what you're doing as you go. But, but these, are, these are pretty good. Go a little bit onto the sole. And we're almost running out of room on this one too. Okay, so we finished. There we go. That's a nice pair of shoes that will go on display at the New York Makerspace. And so I'll, I'll put some information down in case there's still time for, for you to visit if you're nearby. But, you know, sometimes it's really fun to witness the origin of something. You know, provenance, as I said, provenance is about the origin of something. And now we know where these were created. In 2021, created in Jersey City, 
ink on sneaker. 